Well, no intro for today. If you don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know. Arsenal lost to Aston Villa 2-0 at home with Unai Emery coming back to the Emirates to probably put our title race out of the picture. Now, I don't think it's necessarily the complete end of the world, but it is so deflating losing at home at the Emirates where we needed to win to every game. And playing a team like Aston Villa who had few players and key players out and a team that just completely threw against Man City. Let's not forget that this team put a full reserve team out against City and got thrashed. When they come to the Emirates, though, they they're try hard and trying to win their best so I guess Unai Emery must hate us that much and now the expectation from there forward is probably that Man City are going to win every game and I can very much understand that but obviously I don't necessarily think this is a guarantee with the Champions League but I can understand why a lot of Arsenal fans are very disappointed and think this is probably over I'm not going to overreact though and act like it's the end of the world because to even be in this position was definitely a very good thing in the first place and considering we had that poor run in December and at the start of January it's nice to see that we really picked up for this year that is our first league loss since new year's day so we've definitely got to consider the factors around this and that you have to win every single game to win this premier league if this was any other season before man city really came into the picture there wouldn't have been like that and unfortunately a team with 115 charges and all the money in the world just don't seem to be beaten the performance itself i think was quite concerning i think in the first half we obviously played really well and odegaard was very influential but some problems with the team really occurred again we just can't seem to finish our charge Chances. obviously Trossard missed a brilliant chance we missed a lot of other chances but we still overall in the second half didn't create anything and overall the whole game I don't think we created enough to really argue it Aston Villa had a really good game plan and they did really well and probably should have won by even more I don't really necessarily blame the defense I know there's some mistakes in there but the attack just have to be having more control and taking aim at the game taking their chances and overall the performance in the second half I think is probably one of the worst I've seen Arsenal in a very long time there was no intensity there was no real idea of what we we're going to do do. Martin Odegaard apparently had a knock and had to be brought off before he was brought off the team was definitely falling apart and when he came off it definitely accepted that two late goals which we really should be doing better from and I can understand a lot of people are very annoyed I do think there is a lot of blame that has to be put on Arteta I'm so befounded by some of the players he plays in this game I understand that we play well in the first half and if we score them chances it's different he definitely was thinking more about the Bayern Munich game why is Gabriel Jesus starting up front when he's never performed there this season and doesn't really deserve that opportunity Havertz in midfield I think was good in the first half but kind of looked a bit lost in the second I just don't like him playing in that midfield role I think we've got past that and realized that it doesn't work because we need more support and I I went into this game expecting Zinchenko to play I thought he that he would give us more control against the Aston Villa midfield I didn't really want him to play I think Tommy Asu deserves the opportunity but I thought he would and yet again him defensively is a massive concern we can't have him against teams that have effectiveness on the counter attack or can have great players going forward Zinchenko just has to play against the smaller teams or at least have that support there with someone like Jorginho or a double pivot with party even for the goals he just looks so lost he's got no intensity defended you see people like Havertz and Declan Rice actually trying to get back and stop it while Zinchenko just stands in the middle of nowhere and I think considering he is supposed to be a defender he just definitely isn't he is out and out an attacking eight player I feel like and was moved to left back through the invitation of Pep Guardiola and I just don't think long term for a team like us it works at all and I just don't understand how we can go from looking so convincing against so many different teams even Brighton last week and then just absolutely capitulate I know we had chances and we probably could have won in the first half but teams like Man City don't necessarily have the same issues as this and people just simply take their chances a lot better there should be no excuses for this team this far in our development we shouldn't be causing issues like this I would expect us to make slip ups maybe against the teams like Man City or Liverpool but we don't we make slip up against teams like Aston Villa and Fulham who we've simply got to be beaten and last year we completely capitulated and I understood it with the intensity of the team and how the players we had but with the upgraded players with the control that we have on games and the different play styles this isn't good enough and against Bayern Munich in the week I think a lot of our weaknesses were shown but I still think overall we were very impressive in this game I can't defend us defensively we were all over the place and that second half was a quite frankly disgrace of a performance from the team I get they might be tired or something but Aston Villa played on Thursday and we played on Tuesday so I don't really see the excuses this is something that if it is going to come in result in us not winning the league then we've got to look at ourselves again and think well some of these players need to go I've been very critical of people like Jesus and Sinchenko and a lot of people have been very upset about what I've said which is fair enough but these players just simply can't do it they don't have the bottle to be able to do it week and week out when we need it to they're great when you want to have loads of pressure and play against teams that don't have 
have much attack and threat like Luton or Sheffield United. But when you play against any of the top teams, they're just such a liability and it really annoys me. And a lot of the time, it seems like to me, if Martin Odegaard isn't there, the team don't know how to intensely do things. They don't understand where to stand. And we actually need him on the pitch telling people all the time. If Martin Odegaard has actually picked up an injury and had to come off because of it and he can't play maybe next game against Bayern or any game to the future, we are screwed. He really makes this team tick and he is probably our best player right now. And I just don't think without him, we are the same team and it's very frustrated. And this basically means that our season could be over. We had a great win for Crystal Palace in the day against Liverpool and that gave us the chance to go top by clear amount. But we didn't take the opportunity and now we're going to be behind Man City who have easier fixtures and are a better team. And of course, with all their charges and everything, I just don't think they're going to lose a game. And I'm sorry because I absolutely hate the negativity around our club when I don't think we deserve it. And I can understand some people being like, we've only lost one game since New Year's. So I am a little bit level headed in the future. But it's just games like this are so frustrating. That's basically our leeway gone. And we have to result in waiting for someone else to mess up. Now, this could be beneficial, maybe. But considering the disappointing draw to Bayern in the week, I feel like that we should have done better for us. Suddenly, we are not having any sort of result in two tournaments in a week. And with Liverpool looking like the same, it honestly is just going to be a boring title race for Man City. And it's so disappointing to think how well we've played this season, how well we've played this year. The amount of praise have given to Arteta and players. And we just mess up like this. And it's even more annoying against Unai Emery coming again to screw us over. And personally, there is a few players that I don't think are necessarily good enough to start. I think they should still be squad players. But I honestly think that we'll have to just go into the summer and get more reinforcements and see where we are. I don't think this is necessarily... Arteta, I think, was to blame for a little bit of what happened today. And I do think he can take some blame. Obviously, not the goal scoring. That's not his fault, I don't think. But overall, he has managed us perfectly nearly all season, or at least until 2024. So I'm going to give him a bit of leeway because he has been brilliant and I think one of the best managers in the league this season. But some of the players have really let us down today and I think overall I, we've learned a lot from last year about where the team is at and how far we can go and I think this week it's basically got to the point where we've realised maybe we're still not there to win anything this season. I didn't think we were going to win it but it's very disappointing getting this far and I think losing a game we would all expect to win. I think I expect to beat Villa who haven't even been that good recently, have their best two midfielders out injured and we basically got outplayed in that second half and all the work that we have built up for three months could be over in a week if we go to Bayern Munich and don't get the result if we, I would be amazed if we do come away from the Allianz with a good result but I do think it's definitely still a possibility we seem to have rested some players in this game for that anyway so I expect people like Martinelli to come back in and I don't really expect Jesus to be in the starting lineup he might be I don't know but this is a massive game obviously the issue is I don't think getting to the semi-finals and Champions is going to help us too much but I think it will give us belief in the future and at least it will help the fan base not complete completely capitulate I feel like and it might keep us on at least a stable level going into our next games after it. I am very disappointed with the result and it isn't the end of the world. And I think sometimes there's only so much positivity you can get when I think the level is this high. I understand we have all played well and I really get it but Man City don't make mistakes and I know we're not necessarily at that level but I feel like we nearly were at this time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't think it's as bad as last year right now but it could get worse and it could make us hurt a lot more in the future but it definitely hurts a lot and stings right now. I will be doing a preview to the buying game and hopefully how we can try and beat them. Let's see if that happens. And if you like that video and you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.